Hi there, Trey. This is Brad Gilbert with the FX Market Insight for Wednesday, the 8th of July. All right, now I'm sort of using uh, one of our traders' screens. Thanks, Jared, for the use of your screen. My meta stock is just playing up a bit. Now, let's just have a look at what's uh, going on in the market now. US equities slightly off uh, at the moment. The, um, you know, down 1.5% for the Dow. But what we're, we're not really seeing the risk on, risk off profile come into play. Right, this is where the market is. It's almost completely diffused. There's, um, I'll show you the news in a second. There's, there's talk of a, um, you know, a vaccine being rolled out in the states, and Donald's talking about uh, vaccinating a hundred million US people, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So there's, there's mixed news on the, the virus front. Uh, just looking at the equity markets here. You got the equity markets on the y-axis. Looking at what's what. So there's a few euro yen pairs. Obviously, oh sorry, euro yen. Yen pairs, I should say. Euro yen uh, working very closely there with the Dow Jones, Aussie yen also with the SP sort of future, or SPs and the SP futures. So there are a few, few things in play and dollar CAD uh, moving uh, inversely, obviously, with the uh, as it's quoted the other way around. So there's a little bit of traction there on some of the pairs, but uh, it's a little bit thin on the ground at the moment. And even if you're looking at the um, sort of whole risk on profile, gold, silver, not really doing a lot just at the moment. And uh, funnily enough, crude still sitting up around 40 bucks. So let's see what that does for us as far as the uh, major currency pairs goes. Right, this is, I think we're starting to get towards where uh, something is happening. As in, there's a, it's building up. The, the pairs and the, the technicals are telling me it's building up. You can see the uh, Aussie and Kiwi in a slight uptrend, but now they're stalling. Okay, Kiwi looks a little bit stronger than the Aussie. Uh, Dolly End is trading sideways. Uh, once again, we've saw a bit of choppy price action. Euro looking like it wants to test high, but it's back in the range. And likewise, the same for um, Sterling, except it's still got a bit of an upward bias on the hourlies and a bit, a bit more room to move. It's been a little bit more aggressive. Dollar CAD, well, it's, it's been banging away. It's found, some, uh, found a high and a low here at the moment. Um, oil still at 40 bucks. Okay, it's, it's more of a supply thing than anything else. Okay, they've reduced supply probably as much as they can. And uh, dollar CADs are sort of banging away there. Now, the good thing is with all these charts, okay, you've got support and resistance on pretty much everything. All right, so we do have levels. What we are lacking or missing is the, the ingredient of momentum and clear direction. At the moment, the way these uh, currencies are set up, I really like the look of um, Aussie and Kiwi. It's probably been the primary pairs to be trading. Of course, Euro and the other pairs could come into play at any time with various news. But the Aussie looks a little bit tired. I'm, I'm thinking maybe a chance for a breakdown on the, on the downside in the Aussie. And if that doesn't sort of come out, it's pretty, it's got a couple of level resistance levels on the top side. It might find it hard to go higher. Whereas the Kiwi, if it just breaks above, especially this yellow resistance line, we above 65, 80, we could see that pop. Now, what does that do for us? Well, I just bring you back to the uh, Forex Daily Market Insight page. All right, market conditions are pretty average. We don't have that momentum as I was talking about. Now, we've just, uh, I've sort of, made a bit of a modification back to sort of where we were uh, or very similar a short while ago, just trying to focus on the actual trade routine. Okay. Identify direction. And then also then you can uh, get those optimal entry points through your support and resistance. So at the moment, okay, the, the top half of this is a bit of a question mark. It's not exactly clear. Now we do have support and resistance levels, but they don't really tell us a lot at the moment about uh, any, any sort of clear trading opportunity. Sterling, well, it's still going up on the, um, on the short-term hourlies, but longer term, it's just trading in a much bigger range. Whereas the Aussie and Kiwi, they have been tracking higher. They did break through some daily resistance levels or Kiwi's right at one. Um, and that creates extra opportunities for us. We still are lacking momentum, but there's a chance here. I like the idea of the Aussie, like it, it looks fatigued, so I'm looking for potentially a sell a break of that support trend line. It comes in around 30. So I'm just probably looking to get in around 69.20. And the Kiwi, well, the opposite side of it. If the Kiwi does, uh, we find some US dollar weakness and it breaks through. Um, we've well, got a couple of entry levels here, 65.70 and 65.80. This is the stronger one. 
So a break of 65.80 was, would probably be the preference. We could see this thing run 100 plus points to the top side. Of course, we're going to need some US dollar weakness, but you know it could come either way. The, uh, so that's where I'm sort of looking at with the major pairs now. Just to finish up, I just wanted to give you a look at the news because it is a little bit uh, hard to work out exactly what's going on, right? And there's so much, uh, and this is what traders at all the institutions are, are looking at the same thing. Okay, yeah, that's great. There's some spending in Japan. whoop de doo That doesn't really do anything for us. US tops 3 million, okay, infections. That's... That's, to me, coronavirus propaganda. Um, and then you've got the Asian equities. They're sort of basically, you can tell by this page, and these are all on different um, parts of the global news. They are struggling for news, right? There's nothing happening. Um, doesn't seem to be anything happening from the central banks. They're pumping in stuff. If anything, what are they going to come back and say, we're going to do more than whatever's needed because they've already said that. So what we're, we're in a bit of state of flux. So, Ideally, what we need is, okay, we need this US dollar, and this is the dollar index. Uh, we need this dollar index to sort of break out of this recent range, right? You've got uh, not, sort of 97.35 on the top side, 96.65 on the downside. It's just trading in a big range. Now, I'm, I'm not sure what's going to give this uh, the momentum top side or downside, but it could come at any stage, right? So when we do come back and you, you have a look and you think, well, what else could potentially do it? Well, you come back to the uh, macroeconomic data, which isn't really coming into play just yet. Um, we don't have much anything out really today, but then we do have some numbers coming out for the end of the week. Uh, Kiwi, uh, the NBNZ Business Outlook numbers, Chinese CPI, got that weekly jobless number coming out of the States. All right. And then you've got some, uh, I'd say, if anything, uh, one of the better numbers usually is the Canadian employment numbers. But as we've seen with the US numbers, they are sort of pushed aside at the moment. So that's one of the issues we've got. So the, the, the best thing you can do is, is actually just go through your, um, uh, your charts and just make sure you, you're getting the, the right support and resistance levels. Now, these support and resistance levels, okay, if there's nothing on the hourlies, we'll go to the daily charts. So that's where these levels come out. And if you're getting similar levels, well, at least you're looking at the charts the right way. What we're trying to work out is where that momentum's coming from. And that's where these geopolitical events are problematic. All right. Anyway, all we can do is, uh, you can, all you can do is trade what's in front of you. So don't get uh, all bent out of shape if, you, if you're not putting the trades on, on that you want and your performance isn't exactly what you're after because you can't make the market move and give you the cash. You've just got to be waiting and ready to, to pounce on these things when they do happen. All right, guys, hang in there. Better trading conditions around the corner. Cheerio.